Thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of the Quicken Guy. It is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. If you have not done so already, please click on the subscribe button below to get news, updates, and tutorials for your Quicken product. Also, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will promptly respond to them as soon as possible. All right, let's get started for today. Uh, today's video is a video that was requested by one of my subscribers. And as always, I'm always willing to make uh, special videos um, because a lot of people may have the uh, same exact questions. And um, it will, and I, I, and I really believe that it helps uh, everyone with their user experience with their Quicken program. And as most of you may know already, it is that time of year to when Quicken is discontinuing um, their um i want the versions of the software always remember that the quicken program you buy is only good for three years before the quicken uh, program has program is discontinued what does it mean for quicken discontinues a particular program it means that if you download transactions from the bank if you use online bill pay if you use the online backup service you will no longer be able to use those service services as of april the 30th 2017 and i believe that date is set in stone for every year so um in april 2017 uh, if you have not upgraded to quick in 2017 uh, you will go to download your transactions and you will get all kinds of crazy errors and that is because the software has been discontinued and there is not an override for um, uh, for that even if you try to download transactions from the bank manually and bring them into the quicken program it will not work and of course a lot of people they get alarmed but it's nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, just go ahead and start preparing for the change. And the question that was asked was, how do you actually convert from Quicken 2014 to Quicken in 2000 to Quicken 2017? And today I will show you how that conversion process will take place uh, in your Quicken program. Now, I do need to say this. I, I, I um. I do need to say this. Uh, some of you may be using like Quicken 2014 Home and Business or Rental Property Manager uh, or or even you may be using Quicken Premier. Uh, and then also based off of the cost, you may say, well, you know, I got Quicken Home and Business, but I think this time I'm, I'm going to go with Quicken Starter Edition or go with Quicken Deluxe because it costs less. Uh, but you have to be aware that when you make that conversion, if you would use a downgraded version of the software, all of the features will not come in. For example, if you have a business and you're using Quicken Home and Business and you decide that you're going to buy Quicken um, Deluxe 2017, when you try to convert that file from Quicken 2014 to Quicken 2017, all that data is going to be lost in that program. Now, and of course, uh, the program will ask you to upgrade and um uh, so that you can retrieve that data so that's very 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 important i've seen so many people they try to downgrade because they don't want to pay the full price uh, which is actually already discounted for 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 the current year software but it's very important if um, those features are important to you that's in our rental property manager or that's in home and business and premiere you cannot downgrade you have to go with the same um the same uh, particular um edition in order to keep all of the data in that particular program okay all right let's go ahead and get started for today converting from one year of quicken to the next year of quicken is quite simple if the time span hasn't been a long time if it's been a long time in that time span you have some customers that are still using like quicken 2000 quicken 2002 2003 2004 so on and so forth you have to go through what's called an intermediate version conversion and um which could be kind of tough sometimes and uh and and that's a little different process but converting from quicken 2014 up to 2017 or even converting from 2015 to 16 up to quicken 2017 it is rather simple now i do need to say this if you are using um if you're going to install your quicken 2017 on a brand new computer and you're coming from quicken 2014 or any edition that you have you need to back up your quicken file you need to back up the quicken file to your um 
to a thumb drive or any kind of media that you're going to use to uh, put that data on a brand new computer. So uh, I'm not going to install Quicken 2017 on a uh, brand new computer. It's going to be on the same computer, so I will not go through the backup process on today. Um, so and this is basically the way the setup is going to happen and take place. All right, here's your data file. Your data is already here. And as you can see up here in the left-hand corner, I'm using Quicken 2014 Realtor Property Manager. So here we go. And all I have to do is start my installation of Quicken 2017. Quicken 2017 will take care of everything. It's going to install for you. It's going to uninstall Quicken 2014 for you as well. And it is going to convert your data. So uh, the first thing that you need to do, if your Quicken 2014 is open, simply just close it out and it says backup I'll go and say yes to a backup and I will do this backup now I didn't have to back it up to my thumb drive but it's backed up to my thumb drive already click OK and now my Quicken program is closed out and the next thing I'm going to do is get ready to install Quicken 2017 all right, the first screen that comes up is going to actually do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and your answer will be yes When this page comes up here, it says Quicken 2017 Rental Property Manager. Right here, you'll see some check marks. These are not designed for you to click on. It's just letting you know what the installation is going to do for you. First thing the installation is going to do is going to back up your Quicken file automatically. The next thing it's going to do is going to uninstall your previous version of the Quicken software. And the third thing it's going to do is going to install and update Quicken 2017. When you see the screen, you do not have to click on these um, buttons here but just click on let's go and here are the terms and conditions if you want to read those you can it's rather long so we won't do that click on I agree then let's click on next and then you're going to simply click on install in the lower right hand corner and Quicken will begin to install for you All right, the installation is complete. Now click on done. All right, so now you'll come to a screen. It says convert your data to Quicken 2017. And what happens here is automatic. All you have to do is come down and click on convert file. Now this particular data file that I have here is not that large so the conversion process didn't take a while, didn't take a long time. But if um, you have a lot of data and you're quick and file then it may take a while for it to convert. And the next thing that comes up is going to ask you to sign in with your Intuit ID. Sign in. In some cases, um, the program may ask you for a six-digit code. If it asks you for a six-digit code, uh, it will come to your email. Or if you have your mobile uh, device number on file, you may can have it sent to you via text message as well. The next step is the registration of the software. All right. If you use mobile, on if you use Quicken, the, the Quicken mobile app, uh, you can select to use mobile or don't use mobile. In this particular case, I'm not going to use mobile. Then click on next. All right. Then the next thing is going to, is going to say done. And there you go. You're in Quicken 2017 and all of your data is there. The conversion process is just that simple when converting from Quicken 2014 to Quicken 2017. And then you can feel free to look around to make sure that all of your data is there. And as far as I can see, all my data is here. Okay. Take my other account, which nothing is there. Okay. And that is how you convert. All right. Also, if you're not familiar with Quicken 2017, you think you may need some assistance, please feel free to watch the video getting started with Quicken 2017. Um, there's a link to that below or you should see the card um, on top of this video as well. All right, that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you today. Always remember, it is my mission to make sure you have the best user experience with your Quicken software. Also, if you have not done so already, please click on the subscribe button below to get news, updates, and tutorials for your Quicken product. If you have any questions or something you would like me to add to the, the channel, 
please comment below and I will respond as soon as possible. Once again, this is the Quicken Guy and until next time, have a great day.